Glory to God. The Lord bless you mightily in the name of Jesus. Family, thank you for joining the broadcast. Thank you for joining this session today. This is Strictly Prophetic Prayers, Day 5. We are on a seven days program. Strictly Prophetic Prayers, believing God for access into all that he has for us in this next season. Today is the fifth day of our prayer and we are premiering because of the network conditions we I am. If you notice, every time I've come up live within the week, it has been a struggle. It keeps buffering and buffering, and so it is better to do a premiere, pre-record, and air at this time so that everybody gets connected. Nobody misses out on what God wants to do. So I am glad that you were part of this session. I hope, I know, I believe in my spirit, what God has done in the past four days, but I hope that you are still expectant. That is not all that the Lord has to do. He will be doing more today and even much more in the days ahead thank you so much for being a part of this session strictly prophetic prayers day five the lord says you are entering your wealthy place the lord says you are entering your wealthy place what we are praying for in this session is for divine compensation that is what the lord has laid in my spirit for us to pray for tonight he says that it is time for him to compensate somebody he is bringing you into your wealthy place oh hallelujah glory to god so i'm very excited about this session i cannot wait to get into the word to receive all what god has for us but just before we do that it is a custom to always start on a note of appreciation so go ahead and begin to exalt the name of jesus just worship the father we give you all the glory lord we bring to you all the worship for our lives belong to you hallelujah we sing praises for our lives belong to we bring to you all the worship for our lives belong to you hallelujah we sing praises for our lives belong to you father we give you all the glory we thank you for this time in your presence today thank you for the good word that you have for us thank you for the blessings that you have in store for us today we declare that our hearts are open our spirits are open for all that you would do and we make a demand on this word on this anointing for a transformation lord we ask that you take preeminence move in your special way and let all the glory be given unto you in the name of jesus Jesus, in the name of Jesus, amen. We're going to be reading from 1 Samuel chapter 18, verse 6 and 7. 1 Samuel chapter 18, verse 6 and 7. It says, when the men were returning home, after David had killed the Philistine, the woman came out from all the towns of Israel to meet King Saul with singing and dancing, with joyful songs and with tambourines and lutes. As they danced, they sang, Saul has slain his thousand and David his ten thousands. Glory to God. 
1 Samuel chapter 18, the verses 6 and 7, the scripture tells us that this was immediately after David had killed Goliath. And so everybody in Israel was rejoicing. And the scripture says the women came out from every town in Israel and they began to sing and dance on the streets. And they were singing, Saul has killed a thousand and David ten thousands. But we all know this was not true. At this point in time, Saul had been to more battles than David had ever been. David was just coming from the forest where he was tending his father's sheep. He came to deliver food to his brothers who were at war and he got there and heard the story that there was a giant from the enemy's camp who had been terrorizing Israel for 40 days and 40 nights. The name of this giant was Goliath and he was challenging the people of God for them to send somebody who was going to fight him. But the scripture tells us in 1 Samuel chapter 17 that fear gripped the army of Israel because of how huge Goliath was. They were all so afraid that nobody accepted his challenge. But when David got there and heard all that they were saying and how that this Philistine was defying the armies of God, then he took up the challenge upon himself. He went to King Saul and he asked him what is going to be done on for the person who accepts this challenge and who fights this giant and brings the victory to Israel. And King Saul gave him all the wonderful promises. And David went ahead to fight Goliath. Before now, the only battles that David has ever been in is the battle with the bear and the battle with the lion in the forest when they came to steal his sheep. But the scripture tells us that he goes to war with Goliath and he wins the victory. And then the women in the city began to sing, Saul has slain a thousand and David ten thousand. This was the first time that David had been to war publicly. This was the first time he was fighting alongside the army of Israel. But when he won the victory, the women began to sing, Saul has slain a thousand and David ten thousands. This was a compensation for all the victories that he had won in the sacred. The scripture tells us, David, while speaking to King Saul, he told him the other day I was tending my father's sheep and a lion came and snatched one of the sheep and he says, I fought it and I tore its mouth into two. I tore the lion into pieces and he says just the other day a bear came to snatch one of the sheep and he says I fought with the bear and I killed it. Nobody knew that David had been fighting in the secret. He came and fought one battle openly and God decided to reward him for all the victories that he had won in the secret. God decided to reward him for all the victories that he had won in the secret. There are things you've done in the past that you were never rewarded for. There are attacks of the evil one that you had to battle with alone and come out of them strong. You survived the rejection. You survived their hate. You survived the, the shame. You survived the depression, financial depression, emotional depression. No one knows what you have had to battle with personally. But the Lord says it is time for you to be compensated. It is time for you to be open and publicly rewarded for all the things that you've had to deal with personally, for all the fights that you've had to overcome at a personal level, all the attacks of the enemy that you had to resist and come out of with all the scars. It is time for you to look at those scars and be proud of them. It is time for you to look at those scars and be proud of them because the book of remembrance has been opened unto you and the Lord says it is time time for you to be compensated.
It is time for your divine compensation. It is time for your divine compensation. If I were you, I would begin to make a prayer for myself. Let the book of remembrance be opened for me. Lord, remember me. Remember my works. Remember my sacrifices. Remember the battles I've had to fight in the secret place. Lord, remember me. Lord, in your mercy, remember my works. Remember the seeds I have sown. You see, there is a price that you pay. There is a price that you pay for every next level. In between a closed door and a not yet open door, there is a price you pay. Some people, it is the price of waiting. Somebody, you've had to sow a seed to break open into this new level. Another person, there are instructions that have come to you. Very difficult instructions that you had to yield to. That was the price you had to pay for this next level. Hebrew chapter 6 verse 10, the Lord says, he is not unjust. He will not forget your labor of love in that you minister and continue to minister to the saints. It is time for the Lord to remember your years of waiting. All the times you've had to wait, it is time for God to remember the seeds you've had to sow. It is time for him to remember your sacrifice of obedience. It is time for the Lord to compensate you for all that you've had to put up with. For all that you've had to put up with, Lord, remember me. Lord, remember me. That should be your prayer. Lord, remember me. If doors do not open, then you are going to be so frustrated. But the Lord can remember your sacrifices and open a great door for you and compensate you for all that you've had to put up with. That should be your prayer. Lord, in your mercy, remember me. Remember the seeds I have sown. Remember the instructions I have obeyed. Remember, oh God, the sacrifices I've had to make. Lord, remember me. Yes, yes, yes. That's the prayer you should be making right now. Lord, remember me. Remember my sacrifices. Remember my works. Remember the time I have had to wait. Remember all the prayers I have made. Lord, remember me. The battles that I've had to fight. The things that I have been able to overcome. Lord, remember me. My season of waiting. Remember me and compensate me for all the loss. Compensate me for all the insults. Compensate me for all the attacks in the name of Jesus. You see, God is a rewarder. Those that come to him must believe that he is and is the rewarder of those who seek him diligently. I declare over your life in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus, this is the time of your compensation. Somebody, the Lord says, I should announce to you the price has been paid. The price has been paid fully. The price for your next level has been paid. The price for your next season has been paid. It has been paid in full. And I come, I prophesy as commanded, your good works will not be lost. I prophesy as commanded, your good works will not be lost. This is your time of compensation. The Lord will remember your good works. The Lord will remember your sacrifices. The Lord will remember your prayers. The Lord will remember your waiting. The Lord will remember your travail. I declare over your life. Every effort you have put into that relationship, into that business, into that marriage, into that career, it will not be lost. It will not be wasted. Your experiences will not be wasted. I prophesy as commanded, no good work will be lost. In the name of Jesus, your good works will not be lost. In the name of Jesus, I declare over your life, the book of remembrance has opened for you by the mercy of God. The book of remembrance has been opened for you. In the name of Jesus, the book of remembrance has been opened for you. This is your time for compensation, for a divine compensation. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy over your life. Your prayers will be answered beyond your imagination. In the name of Jesus, your prayers will be answered beyond your imagination. Your answers will manifest quickly and faster. Your answers will manifest faster than you expected. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, God will do for you beyond what you expected, beyond what you made demands for. In the name of Jesus, 
Jesus, the scripture says he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work in us. Open your hands as I declare over your life. Your prayers will be answered beyond your imaginations. In the name of Jesus, you will receive more than what you, you worked for. You will receive more than what you prayed for. You will receive more than what you bargained for. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will soon usher you into your wealthy place. In the name of Jesus, this is the promise of God to you. You will be ushered into your wealthy place. In the name of Jesus, where your riches has been held up, receive access in the name of Jesus. Access to abundance. Access to more than enough. The Lord ushers you into your wealthy place. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This word is for someone specific. Within 24 hours, your divine, con your divine compensation will manifest itself. Within the next 24 hours, 24 hours from now, your divine compensation will come. Somebody specifically, the Lord says the solution to your problem will appear. The solution to your situation will appear. 24 hours from now, you will come back with a testimony. Your divine compensation will come. The solution to so your situation will appear in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I say that again. Within 24 hours, your compensation will come. The solution to your situation will appear in the name of Jesus. And I declare over your life, before the year comes to an end, God will compensate you for all the months you've had to wait, for all the battles you've had to fight. The Lord will compensate you. This year 2022 before the year comes to an end within the next three months i declare over your life you would experience divine compensation you will experience divine compensation in the name of jesus in the name of jesus your good works will be remembered in the name of jesus your seeds will yield an increase for you in the name of Jesus, the scripture says to not withhold from sowing your seeds because you do not know which one is going to yield an increase for you. I declare, may the Lord remember the seeds you have sown and cause them to yield an increase for you. All the times you've waited, what you've been praying and waiting for, I declare over your life, the Lord answers those prayers beyond your imagination. Your answer will manifest quicker and faster. In the name of Jesus, for your obedience to every divine instruction, the Lord will fulfill all that he said concerning you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, just go ahead and begin to receive your compensation. Lord, I receive all that you have for me. I receive reward for all my labor, reward for all the efforts I have put in, into this relationship, into this business, into this career, praying for this family. I receive my reward in the name of Jesus. I receive my reward in the name of Jesus. I receive my reward in the name of Jesus. And if you're doing that, just go ahead and appreciate God. We give you the praise, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for wealth. Thank you for increase. Thank you for access to our wealthy place. We give you the glory. Thank you for divine compensation. Thank you, oh God, for your mercies. Thank you for remembering me. Thank you for remembering my family. Thank you for remembering my works, my efforts, my sacrifices. Thank you, Lord. I give you all the praise. I give you the praise, Jesus. Yes, family, I appreciate God. I appreciate the Lord. We give you all the praise, Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Welcome to your season of divine compensation. Enter your wealthy place by the grace of God. You will not know lack. You will not know smallness. There will never be another day where you experience drought in your life. In the name of Jesus. Enter your wealthy place emotionally, financially.
mentally in the name of Jesus. I declare all round blessings. The Lord bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. According to the word of God, your price has been fully paid. Enter your compensation. Receive your compensation. Enter your wealthy place in the name of Jesus. And I want to thank you all for being a part of this session, especially if you're joining for the first time. God bless you abundantly. You are loved greatly. Do not forget to subscribe and stay connected to this amazing family. You are led to sow a seed. Do that and God bless you. Good measures pressed down, shaken together and running over. See you tomorrow for day six of Strictly Prophetic Prayer.